Hello out there once again, friends. Jersey Joe here. I am live with the brew right now. Or those of you watching again on the big YouTube rebroadcast, welcome and join our conversation here. And the conversation we have for this week is, if there is somebody important, a famous person, a celebrity from the past that you could bring to the future, maybe help our world, just hang out and meet with them, who would it be, what would you do, and why would you do it? Lots of answers for this edition of The Brew. It's definitely bar talk this time because who the hell else is talking about this? But Joel, I, and you right now. So Joel, who's somebody famous from the past that you think would be really important to bring to the present? Well, really, what I find really important might not be what you guys find really important. So I was thinking, since my, uh, since my um, vice of choice is alcoholic beverages, I would bring back Amy Winehouse so she could teach me how to not go to rehab. Hey, do you think that they should bring Philip Morris to the present and show him why not to smoke all those cigarettes? <laughs> oh, f This stuff's pretty good, by the way. Speaking of Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Are you dropping free plugs for the whiskey? Because that's off topic. Ooh, man, yeah. It's f***ing delicious. Though. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, I actually have two celebrities that I would bring forward in the future. Number one, Leonard Nimoy. Speaking of cigarettes, maybe he could tell people, Mr. Spock, why you shouldn't smoke when you were younger. Number one. But number two, the big one that I know you're going to agree with, George Steinbrenner. Because somebody needs to come back to the present and fix the Yankees. He's got to teach his kids how to manage the game and make it actually a game of baseball, not all about the business. Oh, God, that's a really, really good pick. Even though mine was just a smart-ass tongue-in-cheek one, that's a really important one because the Yankees be f***ing up. Well, yeah, and his press conferences, too, were just pure entertainment. He'd go off on players, go off on the coach, you know, fire Billy Martin again, you know, and just go crazy with the media. I mean, yes, you know, Trump does it to be an ass, but, you know, George Steinbrenner did it because he wanted to win. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that shit would fly these days at all. Uh, that would, he would have a huge problems trying to do that. But uh, it, it was cool and entertaining for the time period that it was allowed. He would totally be canceled, though. <laughs> Cancel culture would be like, well, nope. nobody would sign. I mean, if you piss off some free agents, like, there's gonna, word's going to get out. People just aren't going to sign. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They are not going to put up with the... You see how, you see how teams spend money now. <clears throat> that's true. That, that's true. So, yeah, and, and there was never, ever a way to, like, shelter his words to make him politically correct. And he was going off. He was going off, and that was it. But entertaining nonetheless. You guys have lots of answers out there on this one, so who would you bring to the future? Let's go. Starman says, Jack the Ripper. Okay, you keep that in your neighborhood. Rock and guitar, Elvis Presley. Oh, all right, don't be cruel. Melissa, 3679, she would bring Jimi Hendrix. James says he would say Freddie Mercury. Andrew's got a list. Socrates Johnson, Billy the Kid, Napoleon, Sigmund Freud, Joan of Arc, Genghis Khan, Beethoven, and Abraham Lincoln. You know what I mean, Joel? His laundry list sounds like like a good episode of like Renaissance Hollywood Squares. <laughs> that would actually be a pretty good show. I think um, out of all of his picks, though, like I'm gonna go with Genghis Khan because that dude, like, he got around. He knew what he was doing. Like, that's another dude to learn from for selfish reasons. Yeah, and not, not Jack the Ripper. Not a, nobody knew. Yeah, that's that would be pretty fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be great news headlines, but yeah, no, no. Like I said, keep it in his neighborhood. Rock Guitar, he says, George Washington. I, I had a thought when I saw when he posted this on Instagram. I'm wondering, like, if we could bring George Washington to the present and be like, hey, you know that Constitution that you guys all worked up? Maybe you should close a few of those loopholes that our government right now loves to take advantage of. I'm positive that if he came back, one party would fucking crucify him <laughs> if he tried to do that. Like, it doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> he would not have any value now. He probably can't even fucking work a smartphone. Like, I, I guarantee he can't. But I bet you there'd be some infomercial for some dental clinic trying to sell him on getting rid of those wooden teeth. You know, hey, we can fix that in 48 months. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if they last 400 years, you know that. That's <laughs> a stamp of approval. <laughs> exactly. Todd Nixon, he says, Nikolai Tesla, Jay City Picks, Patrice O'Neill, just for his import on today's world. But for more historical, Nikola Tesla and Da Vinci, science inventors, Ben Franklin for social input, diplomacy, and Cyrus the Great to see the Middle East today. Hey, Tesla, I like that answer. That's a good one, because if, if he hadn't died, can you imagine all the more inventions he'd come out with that the government could then go and seize like they did with all his paperwork when he died? Yeah, that would be pretty amazing. We had a lot more resources. Um... I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, how much he could relate to nowadays, but um, definitely scientists. Anybody that has any input that put them so far ahead of everyone else in any category is probably the most useful. We also have to keep in mind, like a dude like him, 
isn't going to be able to adapt to our world now. So there's like a little balance between there. And that free electricity that he was able to, you know, make, you didn't need a telephone pole, he was able to like make a light bulb light up from like what, feet away from an actual electrical source. I'm sure our electrical companies would love to have that right now. Actually, they would not. But, you know, it's, I, I think that he could, if, if he would partner with Amazon, Amazon would give him like a good schooling lesson. Between the two of them, they could figure out the science, probably even more so than Alexa. Yeah. In the meantime, Joe can take UFO videos from his apartment window with a smartphone. Yes. <laughs> so they got a little catching up to do. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you hear that knock on the door? Oh, here comes the feds. Gonna pick me up. Let's get this going. More of your comments. Mr. Frasca says, Eddie Van Halen. Oh, that's recent. DJ Carney, Michael Jackson. He was already prepared for 2020 by wearing a mask in public. Why would anyone dare to bring anyone else to the present? Could you imagine Michael Jackson now with this whole COVID thing? The guy was already losing his mind before. He would, this, would, this would have sent him over the edge, uh, you know, uh, with this whole COVID thing. Oh, yeah. It would send him over the edge quicker than he sent that baby over the edge. Treats tweets. He says, FDR, we need his leadership more than ever. And Rock for Tar with the final answer of this show, John Lennon, give peace a chance. I am all for that. Anybody that can come to our world now and fix this shit show we're in right now, give peace a chance. Let's do it. The only problem with that, I was thinking like Nelson Mandela would be a great answer, but like all those people that like are trying to be peaceful would be told to f*** off. Like, at least in the United States, for sure would be told to f*** off, like by at least 75% of us. So it's like a nice sentiment to think, yeah, that's great. Let's get a peaceful person in here. But like we have, we have all the information, all the resources to look up all those people and what they stood for. Still, like right now, we're like, nah, f*** that. See, this is why I said Mr. Spock and George Steinbrenner, because if you don't follow the logic of Mr. Spock, then we'll send in George Steinbrenner to yell at you. And there you go. Win-win for everyone. And be a great clip, too, on your local news. What's also a great clip, when you click that like or subscribe button down below for all the fun right here on the Jersey 50 YouTube channel. I tell you that each and every week because I mean it. We're here having fun. We hope you are, too, and enjoying our bar talk here all the time on The Brew. Definitely, definitely this is part of our bigger bar talk episodes here because it's something that's not really going to happen, but it's one of those great, you know, what would you do kind of situations. Yeah. What would you do if I was challenging you to a cheers of whiskey right now, Joseph? I would probably have some. <laughs> I'm not going to sit there and argue with you. <laughs> it's also great when you're doing these shows liquored up with a belly full of whiskey. It uh, makes your answers even more colorful cool. than normal. Good cool boy. Yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> Jersey Joe here on box saying thanks for watching. Thanks for great comments, and we'll see you next time, I hope. <laughs>